Back to the city now, and if you want to just enjoy the great produce without getting your hands dirty, then you're in luck, with Melbourne boasting some truly world-class restaurants and eateries. Oh, the quality of the Melbourne dining scene is um, very, very exceptional. I mean, for a town of uh, this size, and really it is a town compared to some of the larger cities that uh, Melbourne dining is compared to, we are a small place. And uh, it's a very eclectic mix of cultures, and therefore a very eclectic mix of restaurants and foods. And I think we're very lucky because of the quality of the ingredients. We're surrounded uh, not only by great ocean, but also by quite beautiful green pastures, even during a drought. We're not really uh, being affected um, by it that much because we've got such a huge array of resources and great ingredients. View de Monde is a, an interesting uh, concept where there is no menu uh, and basically I started that concept purely because the confidence of the diner was to draw themselves to certain dishes and for me, uh, because of the array of ingredients we do have in Australia, I wanted uh, a little bit more confidence uh, from the diner and the only way to do that was actually to let them go, just let them relax. So not give them a menu and say, what do you like, what don't you like uh, and leave the rest to us. You know, um, of course budget comes into it and we do try to cater for uh, quite a number of budgets so it's not just one fixed price menu, it starts uh, at a minimal price and then works its way up per course. The Grampians lie to the northwest of Melbourne and feature some of the state's most breathtaking scenery. It's also home to the Royal Mail Hotel and Restaurant, who are on a mission to place themselves on the world map of gastronomy. We have two sort of major uh, food outlets. We have a fine dining restaurant, or our restaurant, and we also have a, a cafe-style menu. Um, cafe-style menu is, is your standard, I suppose, not country, but simple, rustic, probably more Spanish than anything style food. Um, fish, meat, you know, a lot of legumes, fresh stuff, fresh seasonal stuff. Um, and on the restaurant menu, it's more specialised ingredients, fish and meat. And I suppose everything has a bit of a twist with, you know, a bit of a modern take on cooking as well, okay? So it's quite technical, the cooking is quite technical. We have a, a large kitchen garden, uh, extensive kitchen garden. Um, we have dams with fish in it. We have dams with crustacean, a yabby is a native Australian crayfish. Literally, we send guys to the garden at, at five o'clock in the afternoon to, to get those products, and at 6.30 in the restaurant, you can be eating them. So literally, something's been cut from a, from a plant or pulled out of the dam an hour before you eat it. We've got a fantastic wine cellar. It, it may appear to be an air-conditioned warehouse, but it's, uh, it's a collection that's, that's been ongoing for over 27 years. It's, it's had a, a purity, a vision, it's had a, a philosophy behind it, and that philosophy has been to collect the best. Um, anybody can just go and buy one of everything, make sure it's spelt correctly, put it into a wine list and hand it over to someone. But that's not a great wine list. A great wine list is something where you drink to depth, all through the wine list and that's what we're trying to achieve. We're, we're very fortunate we're in a fantastic wine area as well within 45 minutes drive of here there would be at least half a dozen world-class wineries. Um, one of the oldest wine regions in Australia the Great Western region is only an hour's drive away which still has I think the largest collection of, of, of underground cellars in the world even considering Europe. So we've got a, a wine culture here going back 160 years so um, even one of the products we have on our things, our most famous product is a 1958 brandy that was sourced from an hour away. And this brandy rivals any cognac or armagnac you can possibly buy. And it's a, a brandy made in Lake Bolac in 1958. So we have this fantastic opportunity to not only showcase our great cellar of, of beautiful old European wines, but a wonderful history of, of the local region. I mean, we've been making world-class wines in this area since the 1850s. But that really is just the beginning of the food and wine story in Victoria, with thousands of farms and hundreds of wineries supplying some of the finest produce you'll find. This really is the place to visit to satisfy even the most hearty of appetites.